We move now to some live music and vendors that are back in Golden Gate Park this weekend, and you don't need to pay to get into this festival. KTV's Alyssa Harrington joins us live in San Francisco for tonight's comeback of Hardly Strictly Bluegrass. Alyssa. Yeah, tonight was a lot of fun. There was good music, good food, and some of these artists have actually been waiting for two years to take the stage here at Golden Gate Park when the event was put on pause during the pandemic. The fog rolled in just as fans rolled out their picnic blankets on the meadows at Golden Gate Park for day one of the Hardly Strictly Bluegrass Festival. The beloved Free Music Festival is back in person after a two-year hiatus during the pandemic. It feels like a great relief, a great blessing. I mean, we've been waiting for this whole time and uh, we're not even sure if we are we ever going to be able to do this again. Music curator Chris Porter says some of the acts were supposed to perform back in 2020 and are finally getting their chance. There are six stages. The lineup includes big names like Emmy Lou Harris and Elvis Costello. Go see some of your favorite acts, but uh, try to discover some new ones. 22-year-old Satya Say from Oakland returned to the Bay Area to make her Hardly Strictly debut. I've never done a festival before. This is like the first one. My grandparents used to come here like all the time. This is a beautiful park. I came in high school, so it's crazy. This event has been a San Francisco tradition for many music lovers. Cynthia Cruz Pollock brought her baby and toddler and plenty to keep them happy during the show. I'm having a great time. In 2019, I didn't come because I was pregnant with him. We have a decibel reader app on our phones. Um, we have headphones for both of them. Mostly she needs them and uh, a lot, a lot of snacks. Near the Towers of Gold, we found Biscuit the Cat grooving to the music. His owner said he actually enjoys crowds and likes adventures. This is his first concert, but he has been to 10 states and he's been on eight airplane rides and he loves going to wineries and breweries. This year, visitors can expect some health and safety changes. There's COVID-19 testing and vaccines available on site. Also an increased number of police officers. People should expect traffic and lack of parking on side streets. And remember, the event is free. There are no tickets, so beware of any scams. And there's plenty of public transportation. We saw a lot of buses out there today. Again, really hard to get a parking spot in this area. The music continues tomorrow at 11 a.m. Gates open at 9. Reporting live at Golden Gate Park, I'm Alyssa Harrington, KTVU, Fox 2 News. All right, Alyssa, thank you.